I should look at the plot board. Keep the story moving. The new story beat fit the story perfectly. Gasoline over the train car. Torchbearers living in the tunnels. They lock the poor folks up in a derailed subway car, doused it in gasoline. Yeah. Charming. It turns into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnels searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I'd found. The plot element I found would drive the story forward. A sick and twisted story. But it worked. The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now.
path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me. There was something hidden here, a phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meeting. Had I written this? changed the story, and with that, the dark place changed. Chains into the murder cult's hideout. This is the ritual to lead you on. The Fed had witnessed something here that made him run scared. Whether the summoning ritual had been a bona fide supernatural event or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics, it didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. I had a new idea, a new story thread.
found out the culprits out the cultists weren't the only ones using the tunnels. Hidden graffiti signs marked secret routes. I kept hearing whispers around burn barrels of an underground society of mystic outsiders with hidden knowledge. <laughs> Typical New York.
plot changes shake the world around me. The tunnel was open now. Before. I remembered now. It was always out there, hunting me. was the key. Place under Cauldron Lake. Not Cauldron Lake. Who are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. I, I, I felt it. 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 I
murder site. I'd been stepping to the murder site. I'd felt it hanging in the air. A meaning. The violent emotion of the act. Like a cloud of wrath. The dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see. And yet, making you aware of it. Something had soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. The station had changed. I was closer now. to being home, going up to our apartment, would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. edge of the plaza was ringing again. Helping me. Did you go deeper? To the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I, I did. I, I. That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. Dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? using his words, or 
Maybe he was the monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Alice's photo equipment, set to go off when the door opens. scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. This symbol wasn't here before. Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Alice's memory card. people 
would think it was my fault. Hell, I do too sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice, Scratch was terrorizing her. Why? room and wrote a story, initiation, to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere, looped me back. I was writing this story, and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. 
He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the dark place by writing a novel, the pages we've been finding. But your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes. Fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time... It... This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is, is full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like it's like it's like a half-forgotten dream. Mr. Wake, Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. It's insane. And there's so much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them Scratch's followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult.
creepy dolls, mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. Doesn't make sense. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. And that always goes well. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake, and the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? Saga had lost count of how many shots she'd fired, but she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine. And yet, she'd not run out of ammo, as if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets. She fired again.
That's it. No. Think Saga. Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double, Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. 
Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Okay, Mr. Wig, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time in the hands of the Cult of the Tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew a weapon. Think. No. Hmm. The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I, I remember writing an endless amount of pages. But when this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> 